I'm currently in India and if I get some supernatural powers to hang up in the sky and if I hang up in the sky for about 12 hours, will I reach US or there's some physics behind it which would stop me from doing so? Interestingly, I think the answer is yes. And I wanna talk about why I think so. But before I start, thanks a lot, Izzy Electronics. Let me know what your name is for asking this question because I think at every, everyone at some point in their life has wondered upon some version of this question. I remember, I always wondered like if I jump high enough, then when I land, will I be on a different part of the planet because the earth is spinning? Okay, so let's start thinking about this. Let's imagine there's Superman standing right next to us and he's gonna take off vertically, hang up in the sky for some time, and he's gonna come back. What will happen? Well, we have a video for that. This is not a video of Superman hanging up in the sky. It's a different video, but the cool things about physics is you can connect one thing to another. So I want you to see this video. Uh, made by John White on Newton's law of inertia. And I want you to try and connect it to our situation, all right? So here you go, let me do full screen. The, the link is in the description. Pretty cool video, you should check it out. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. At first we might say that this has nothing to do with our, we might think this has nothing to do with what we are discussing, but can you, Pause and think about um, what would the car represent, what would the people represent, and what would the ball represent in our analogy. All right, so the car represents the earth. Why? Because you're considering the earth spinning and we're considering the car moving. The car moving represents the earth spinning. The people in, on the car represent the earthlings, us. And what does the ball represent over here? The ball represents Superman. The ball doesn't possess supernatural ability, so it doesn't hang up in the sky, but we can sort of use that to kind of imagine what would have happened, right? What we see is that, what do we see? <laughs> we see that even though he threw the ball straight up in the sky, it didn't stay up, the ball just didn't stay up and the, the car just didn't go forward. What we see is that the ball is, let's look at it one more time, we see that the ball is traveling with the car forward as it goes up and comes back. Why is that happening? Because of inertia. Because even before the ball was thrown up, even before the ball was thrown up, it had a forward velocity, which was the same as the velocity of this dude, which was the same as the velocity of this van. Right, And so when it gets thrown up, along with going up, it continues to go forward because of its inertia. You can see it continues. It's not going straight up, it's going at an angle as you can see. And because of that, it's always traveling with him and therefore it comes straight back in his hand. So can you use this and think about what would happen with Superman? All right, just like that, Superman would be hanging up in the sky from our perspective. We would see him hanging up in the sky, just like how this dude saw the ball hanging, you know, going straight up. And then when, when Superman comes back, he will come back in our arms, <laughs> land in the same position. And what would somebody, like an alien would see when they look at the earth from outside? They would see the earth spinning. But when Superman takes off, they don't see Superman taking vertically up. They would see Superman taking off at an angle and they would see, just like what we saw over here, that Superman, as he takes off, they would see that they will. the Superman will always be above the Earth, you know, th that position, that location on the Earth. Even though the Earth is spinning and going forward, they would actually see Superman just um, always, horizontally, always above, just like what we saw in this video. So, from this video, it's clear that, no, if you hang up in the sky, when you come back down, you will be in that same position. But you might say, Mahesh, in the video, the car and everything was going straight, but Earth is round, so we're not going straight. So what would happen to Superman if he stood up long enough? Would he follow the curvature of the Earth or something else would happen? That's an interesting question. We're stretching the analogy. What do you think will happen? Okay, well at this point, we have to make some assumptions because Superman is breaking laws of physics. So if, I, if we assume that Superman can always counter gravity, like we'll always be able to somehow put a force against gravity as he's hanging up in the sky. Then there'll be no net force acting on Superman. And therefore, 
he, from, from first law of inertia that he will continue to be in the state of rest or motion in a straight line, right? So when Superman is hanging up there, we already know that he has a velocity forward which he got due to the Earth's spin, okay? Therefore, he would continue to keep traveling in that straight line forever, but we would just follow the curvature of the Earth. That means um, Superman will not follow us Eventually, Superman will just like go far away from the Earth. So what would we really see is not Superman hanging up over there. What we would really see, well, we will see Superman going like this. We will see him going this way, right? Because we are curving down. So from our perspective, we'll see Superman going up. <laughs> so this is worse. Forget America. He will just like escape the Earth. <laughs> So it won't work out. But at the beginning of the video, I said that it's possible. We said that it's, it's it, yes, it's possible. And that's because of perspective. See, in this particular case, Superman is hanging up in the sky from our perspective, from the perspective of the earth or the perspective of human beings. But he was not hanging up in the sky from an outsider perspective. From an outsider perspective, like we saw in the video, Superman took off at an angle, right? And so, and, and, and he was always, having a velocity. But what if Superman can take off in such a way that he be, he counters his inertia? Superman takes off at an angle such that his forward velocity exactly counters his velocity that he has due to the Earth's spin. Then what would happen? Again, I want you to imagine this situation. What would happen as you see from the Earth's perspective? What would happen if you see from a perspective which is outside the Earth? I have another video for that. Yay. Here is a video made by Mythbusters. It's uploaded in some other channel. Soccer ball shot from a trunk. From a truck. So what's gonna happen here is, let me just show you. Um, all right. So there's a truck and there is a cannon um, that is like attached to the truck backwards. They're gonna shoot a ball backwards and they're gonna shoot it at exactly the same speed backwards as the truck's forward speed. Can you see how this is analogous to our situation? Again, you have to use the analogy and you have to connect the dots. Let's see what happens in this case. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. What did you see? What did you see? You see that the ball is just like hanging there. This time it doesn't travel with the car. So again, if you use our analogy, the car represents the earth, um, the humans over there represent the earthlings and the ball represents Superman. This time the Superman's backward velocity exactly countered his forward velocity due to the inertia that he gained from earth spin or the car's motion over here. The two cancel out and horizontally he has zero velocity. So what would have happened if they had shot not backward but at an angle you can kind of imagine that the ball would have just gone straight up. Can you imagine that, right? Like, I don't have a video for that. The ball would have gone straight up, the car would have gone forward. The same thing would happen with Superman. If he takes off at an angle like this, then from an outside perspective, he would go straight up in the air, and when he stays there, he's hanging up in the air, as seen from an outside perspective, an alien's perspective, let's say, and then when he decides to come back, Earth is spinning, just like how the car went forward, the Earth is spinning, and then when he decides to come back, he'll be on a different part of the planet, so it's possible that if he started from India, if Superman started from India, <laughs> it's possible that he might reach US. I, I don't understand the geographies and stuff, like I don't know exactly where he'll reach, but you get the point, he'll be on the other side of the planet. Um, but what would we see? Like what would humans see? Well again, we can go back to the video, and we can look at the video perspective. All right, so here we go. Look at that. From our perspective, with the onboard camera that we have, which is very similar to the Earth's perspective, we just see that the football was thrown back. And that makes sense, because from our perspective, we just shot it backwards, and all we'll see is the football going back. So what would we see Superman doing? Well, from our perspective, we'll just see Superman going back. And we will see it's normal. He's just flying to the other side of the world. So we don't see anything special. We wouldn't say Superman hung up in the sky because from our perspective, he just flew backwards. From the alien perspective, on the other hand, though from outside, they would see Superman hanging up in the sky and therefore they would see him stationary and then he would come back 
and they will see that the earth has spun beneath his ground. So technically, that's why, depending on the perspective, technically, the answer is yes. If you can hang up in the sky from an outsider perspective, not from an earth's perspective, but from a perspective, from a reference frame, which is somewhere far away from the earth, if you can somehow manage to hang up in the sky, then yes, definitely the earth will spin beneath you and you'll be able to come back down. Keep asking more questions.